So in total, my grocery shopping for this week is twelve fifty three. Hello, good people. Hope you're doing well. We took a challenge from the beginning of August, and we're going to show you how much we have spent on groceries for the month of August and how you can try and manage your expenses the same way. It has been tough because sometimes you have to make tough decisions not to purchase some things, not to do some things. You're forced to eat what you don't like. But you know what? I feel like it has been worth it and I did it by the end of August. And you can do it too. So try it out. And of course, if you do, don't forget to tag us. Thank you and let's get to the video. For week one, these are the items that I got. And I'll just highlight how I'm trying to ensure that I may sustain this high cost of living. The first thing is I ensure that I maximize on what I have in the house before going out to shop for new things. And if, if I go out, I try to check for wholesale shops to get the discounted rates so that I can still save on some of the expenses. The other thing is I'm still going to the market to shop for grocery just to ensure that uh, I get the best rate. If I use my local shop, it's going to be a bit more expensive. So that's another way I'm saving. The other thing is I'm buying um, supermarket products you can see like this was uh shopping from Nivas and i got their sugar which is actually cheaper what i have actually noted most stores now have their branded products and they're usually cheaper maybe to attract more customers the other thing is um i noted that the bigger package of products are usually cheaper than when you small you buy in small quantities for instance i was shopping for a cleaning detergent for my mom's house and it was so cheap that i couldn't believe that i'm getting such a deal for five liters so if you have a big family one of the ways is you can buy in slightly bigger quantities perhaps maybe you may have to cough more at times are really hard but you need to check into that it really helps for this week i got all the groceries at about 1500 which was a good rate because most of the uh, items will roll over to the next week so perhaps i don't see myself shopping next weekend unless for some basics which i don't like stocking up like my breakfast items i like just buying if possible for a week so that it remains fresh you know i can't freeze some of these products yeah the prices are still high so i i still feel like if you have a big family you need to actually go to the main market so that you can have a great deal of saving comment down below with how you're managing your market shopping how often do you go to the market because what i realized is for me when i go to the main market it can last me a whole month but then that means i have to fill up my fridge to the brim maybe sometimes you may not have capacity so maybe you can let us know how you're managing the situation because Honestly, times are really hard. See you on our next shopping. These are breakfast items. We have pillows. We have pillows, which I snack. We have Weetabix uh, for breakfast of any time. And we have bread. We have eggs. We have spinach and dania. Okay. We have Dairyland ice cream. We have a comb. We have silk. We have not finished the previous stock. We are just adding on to the stock. Okay. We have some uh, coffee, coffee sachets for when I'm just craving coffee. 
So, and a few other stuff. So, in total, my grocery shopping for this week is twelve fifty three, and then we are going to add. Actually, if we remove the comb, it reduces, but it's basically twelve hundred. Um, yeah, and then we have some uh, maize. Of course, you know we love maize. And this was 120. We have uh, red and yellow bell pepper. Those are 50 each, so that's 100. And we have some arrow roots. Arrow roots. They were for going for 300. So it's 12.53. You add, this was uh, 520. Yo, so we are about 1700 this week it has gone higher than last week but we are still i would say we are still lower than what we would have anticipated because i've realized there are a few other items like uh, toiletries that i can if i deduct from um, the grocery haul maybe we'll go down to maybe 1100 yes see you on the next part of this video Hey guys, today is the last weekend of the month and we are doing the final shopping haul and then we just tally the total cost of the whole month. Comment down below how you're managing your cost of living. So here we have, and everything has gone up again. I don't know why now. So here we have um, potatoes and these potatoes, these are uh, potatoes, this, I don't know why you can't see, potatoes, I bought this at 200 shillings, let me just show you the quantity, this is 200, I feel it's still reasonable now, it's not as high as it was, the sweet potatoes for 100, okay, these are the expensive stuff way this one is 20 shillings so i bought two for 40. then this i was actually being sold at 80. imagine and it's even smaller than the ones i get so i ended up buying it at 60. tomatoes they are costing four for 50. i feel like it's a reasonable size this is the size so these are 50 i bought for 150 so this i bought 240 this is 62 uh 80 and uh tomatoes for 150 for 100 for 100 sorry this was 50 again it's also so expensive so these are the two these are 120 Then we got uh, this. Four is fifty shillings. Can you imagine in the way they are small? Just see. Four for fifty. So I realized I'll just buy this. If I feel they are insufficient for my meal, I'll just use two. Because you can't use one. What they you can't use one and a half. What they said when you remove them, they are poisonous. Comment down below if you agree. I feel like it could be true but uh, of course I can't test I don't want to die so comment down below with what you think then we have our fruits so we got bananas for a hundred shillings they have gone up for a very for the very first time in a long time imagine I'm buying eight at a hundred and I've, even this is too small for a hundred for almost Bob. and then i got pixie pixie oranges for 200 we got uh, these grapes for 100 uh, grapes grapes are for 300 and then we have a melon this was 100 i feel like it's expensive but well the other stuff are supermarket stuff i got this uh Buns, everything on this shopping bag 
is 3,207. 3, you can see. And there is no luxurious items. There are only a few things which are not uh, my normal shopping. So I got these Oreos because I've always wanted to try and bake an Oreo cake. And this is the time. They had an offer. You get this, uh, I don't know whether to call it a tumbler. Yeah, and it comes with a straw. My, my colleague always asks me why I like straws. I don't know. Because now this is another cup with a straw. I will show you the one which makes her ask. Yeah, so I love, love, I love blue. Maybe I bought because it's blue. It goes straight to the sink. Then I added our milk stock with four packets. Four packets of milk. And then I, I want to change my toothbrush. I have this. I, I chose this because it has pink. This is 120. Then I was craving soda. If you have been following us for a while, I'm sure you've never seen a soda in my shopping haul because I hardly take soda. I only buy when I have visitors. But today I was just craving a black currant. Yeah. Then of course, tropical heat products are part of this kitchen. So we have ginger. I'm not going to put the prices. I've said the total because uh, we are working on how much it has costed me for my groceries in a month. So I got some cleaning detergents. We have Jig color. I realized it's good for cleaning. We got this machine. I also like it for doing my sufurias. That's uh, for doing my pots. Then we got some Scotch Bright. I'm not sure whether I have another one in stock, so I actually just bought one. Then we got some Morning Fresh, of course, and it comes with a liquid, not as a package, but I also picked the liquid one, and then this one yeah and then i bought this the reason i bought this is because if you have been watching us you remember i said i'm loving the smell of this new new liquid aerial it is 279 for almost two liters that's why i decided to pick it it was on offer but then like i said the reason i'm using this aerial is because it has um, a very good scent so when it is left in the house or in your clothes it's actually amazing you can try it okay so that's it for the detergents then we have the final stuff here we have a probiotic yogurt i don't know why i'm liking it my niece's influence made to love it so just trying it out i got some smokies okay i got this um, hungarian uh, choma sausages i want to try them out they are new in the market if you have tried them out comment down below i'll share the recipe so that uh, i tell you what i think about them and the last thing we have of course ice cream and this time we didn't get dairy land so i picked lion's maid what i the the reason i picked lion's maid is because i like their this pistachio they call it vanilla and pistachio so this is my favorite in the family of lion's maid okay yeah allow me to wind up this video here and thank you so much for watching and if you're inspired you can actually take the challenge i took the challenge of starting from the first week of august until now and i've 
accounted for each and every shilling that I have spent on my grocery and I feel the only thing which was not uh, on the video is just some fruits I bought this week and they costed 350 so once I sum it up it will just give me a less than 10,000 expense in a month how affordable is that how manageable is that i know sometimes it may not be manageable for a big family but you know what if you are in a position to work on such a tight budget try it out yeah so thank you so much for watching this video if you have been watching us hey god bless you god bless you for us all god bless you i have seen the love every other day we have new subscribers how amazing you guys are so amazing i love and value you and if you have any video you want us to share please comment down below feel free most of the videos we share is what you have asked for or we are responding to your questions or your concerns so we really value that feedback if you try out any of our recipes or any recipes that you would also want us to try you can tag us on any of the social media pages so that you can try them out if also you want us to try your product let us know we will definitely try it out of course and if you're new to this channel or you came across this video for the very first time kindly consider subscribing and put on the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video we upload on mondays and thursdays so please look out for those two days and support your girl i really appreciate your continued support and your subscription i'm so happy i'm i don't know whether i'm ambitious um i think this will be the last video in august and we were trying to get to 1000 we are still below 500 and you know what you can still make it happen so hit that subscribe button now let me give you a second to subscribe yeah you if you're watching and you have not subscribed you're the one who's not getting us to a thousand please subscribe 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 thank you and see you on our next one bye